David Gwinner. I'm a photographer, uh, an artist. I photograph people who I think are culturally interesting and it's since the 1980s when I started taking portraits. But I call it the def a defining moment portrait. So I think Cartier-Bresson, he coined that phrase, the decisive moment, didn't he, where picture, the elements of a picture come together and in that one moment that's the kind of the def uh, decisive moment when the picture's at its height. This is Maggie Hambling and she was really, really helpful but within about two minutes of walking in to her house she said she had to go she, to the back to the loo. I think really just to get made up more than anything else. And she said, well, I must not follow her and go in there. So of course I did follow her and go in there. And she was kind of just doing this, looking in the mirror and everything. And it makes quite a nice image. But I love the Marlboro fags here on the sink and the old fashioned lighter. Back then people were interesting and they were very real and they were very accessible and they were mingling with everybody else. And that was good and it was easy and also people were about to become something, everyone was trying to become something. But this is Lee Bowery in his flat in Fowl House um, which was in Whitechapel and he's in his legendary fur coat. I went to photograph Lee in his, in his flat, he had this amazing Star Trek wallpaper, you know he wasn't really shy about posing as you know and it just so happened that he was surrounded by the spaceships on the, the Star Trek uh, Enterprise and it's kind of worked out as a really nice border. But it's just become a really strong and recognised image now. All the kind of archive that I've got and photographs from that time are really of gay people who are on the scene, but they were all fairly interesting and become household names in their field or really respected artists in their field. These two pictures are of Derek Jarman and they were taken in the B, what was then the B2 gallery, which is a, it's a really avant-garde little art gallery in Wapping in an old warehouse so it just shows you how accessible things were at that time where, you know, Derek, who's a bit of an icon, was just there doing his films. It was a very chilled out evening, having some beers, and people could kind of throw in their two pennies worth of what they thought about stuff. You know, I just love the expression of him and the kind of the delicate tonal quality of the teeth and the, and the lips and the, you know, the contrast just um, captures a, a really nice moment. But it's also very early on in that whole um, development of the London 80s art scene. Thank you.